Hey, what's up Sparkers? So another quick video here. In this one, I want to show probably one of my favorite things to do, which is creating tones um, or editing tones. Really, it's kind of the same thing with uh, Spark. Um, you can either start with one that's out there that you kind of like uh, but want to modify, or you can start from scratch. So I'll show you how to start from scratch first because you, once you figure out how to do that, you can kind of from there, you can figure out how to easily edit the others. So starting from scratch is pretty straightforward. Um, but surprisingly, not a lot of people know how to do this. Um, but basically, it's it's all about turning all of the existing effects and amps off. Uh, and then you basically have a completely clean or dry tone from uh, your guitar to the uh, to the amp. So the, the way to do that is by flicking up all of these effects and uh, and the amp itself, right? So all of these are now off and you effectively have a completely dry or clean tone from your guitar. Um, so you can't even hear much there, but because it's so clean and dry, there's not much to hear. But from here, what you're gonna to wanna to do typically, and what I do for the most part, is kind of pick an amp that I like. So you, you, know, you double click on the amp and you kind of find one that you like the sound of, uh, and you, know, you wanna work with that sound. So I'll start with, let's just pick a random one here. You close that down and and then you just kind of adjust the the tone and the gain and the volume settings. And, uh, you know, once you've done that, you know, once you dial it into a sound that you like, then you can add any of the effects from there. All right. So, you know, let's say you want to drop the gain a little bit. You want to take some of that bass down, knock the treble up a little bit. And let's say you're happy with that sound. And but maybe you want to add some uh, some delay. So then you, you know, pop over the delay, double click that, pick the one you like. Obviously, you can kind of experiment, uh, find one that you like, select it, drop it down, then you play with these different settings here until it sounds the way you want it to sound. And, you know, all of these dials are, are turnable. And then once you've dialed that in, you know, you sort of just move on to the next effect. Um, I usually try to start from left to right, just kind of easier to think about it logically from left to right. Um, the way they've laid these pedals out in these order is, you know, make supposedly makes sense logically. A lot of people have asked for mixing these settings up a little bit and moving them around, but as of right now, this is the only options we've got. So, you know, if it's a distorted tone, uh, like a metal sound or a rock sound and has a lot of distortion on it, I'll usually use this noise gate. And one of the things that I like to do with that is leave the threshold really, really low. It doesn't need a lot of, of, uh, of dial on that uh, threshold setting. Uh, you get a lot more sustain when you leave that thing low, um, but just by having it on, it really cuts out some of that noise or some of that feedback or buzz that a lot of people talk about. Uh, and from there, you just kind of play around with the different pedals, whether you want to do a compressor or a sustain pedal. Those are all in here. And by the way, I'm, I'm double tapping to kind of bring that menu up to select those different options. Um, so once you've found and you like, uh, you can drop this down and that's when you adjust the settings. And then uh, you go on to your next pedal. If you want to try a, an overdrive or a, one of these muffs here, or, you know, the uh, fuzz face, right? And you, all your options are in here. Um, and then, you know, you keep doing that until you've found uh, the right, the exact right sound that you're looking for. And then once you've done that, you go right up here where these little three little dots are. Sorry, I got to drop this down. You go to these three little dots and you save as new. And here is where you, you know, you name your tone, right? You can use whatever naming convention you want. This is not a standard naming convention by any stretch of the imagination, which maybe it'd be nice if it were. But uh, at this point, you can name it whatever you want, you know, whether it's the name of the artist that you're trying to emulate or a song you're trying to emulate, or if it's just your own custom sound entirely, name it whatever the heck you want, right? Uh, sunshine, caramel, rainbows, whatever you want to name it, right? You specify the genre of what you think it is, right? This, this is a limited option. Right now. You got pop, blues, rock, metal, alternative bass, and acoustic. So, you know, whichever one it kind of sounds like it's supposed to be into you, and then you just kind of save it, and you're done. I'm not going to hit save because I'll overwrite my one of the tones I already created, but that's about it for creating your own tone. Um, and then last but not least, I'll just throw this in right now since we're already here. Once you've done all that, you can upload it to Tone Cloud for other people to check it out. You just click on that little cloud icon. Uh, oh, sorry, that's a downloading one. Uh, to, to upload it to the Tone Cloud, you just do that here. You click those same three little buttons after you, you've saved the name of it, and you do Share to Tone Cloud. And uh, what you're going to want to do here is you can obviously leave it the same name you already did, same genre. 
Um, but what it would be a really good idea is to add some tags to it. So I like to use, you know, middle versus neck versus bridge pickup as a tab, a uh, tag, or um, whether it's a sound for a verse or a chorus, you know, name of the artist, maybe, maybe a different kind of genre that it is a little bit more specific than that list, whatever tag you want. There's up to six tags you choose and you just, you know, put in the name of the tag and then you add it. And uh, once you've done all that, you've added all of your tags that you want to add, you just hit share. And then anyone can see it, anyone can download it, anyone can play it. And, uh, you know, that's it. So that's how you create a tone from scratch and how you share it with others. Hopefully you guys like this and get some use out of it. Thanks.